Hello D team, we're at the cafe and we're looking at a five pound bag of regular coffee beans. Today we're going to review how to properly mark a fresh bag of coffee or espresso and put it into inventory. So the first thing you want to do is look at the label. As you can see we use Shadrach, Meshach and a bean to go coffee and the kind of coffee we use for regular is Ethiopian and you'll notice on the label above the title it says uh, whole, decaf, or ground. Now, when neither of those are circled, you know that's a strong indication that it's regular coffee. Ethiopian is the type of coffee that we use for regular. Our decaf coffee has a different type of bean, so Ethiopian is regular. Moreover, whole, decaf, or ground has not been uh, circled. If it's decaf, what you'll see is that will be circled and in this case it's not. So it can be confusing when pulling coffee out of the uh, cabinet and so we go ahead and just put regular and then after we put regular on there to denote easily what it is we put the date on it. So today's date is uh, 7 27 18 now after that, we're going to need to put that coffee away. And to do that, we're going to go right over here and we're going to look underneath the cupboard at the cash register. So we're going to open this door up here and you can see some blue tape labels. You can see that it says uh, regular coffee, decaf coffee. And then down here at the bottom is where we put our espresso. So there's regular espresso and decaf espresso. And you'll notice again, uh, this is indated. Uh, you can see right here it says espresso. So for example, this is our decaf espresso. You can see right here the decaf coffee. Um, there it is. You see how decaf was circled. In addition though, uh, the team member did write decaf and also the end date. So we're able to keep ourselves from using the wrong coffee in the wrong place. So we're just gonna put that there and shut the cupboard. And that is how you inventory coffee beans.